The Last of Us Part 2 is finally here. It's been a journey full of tears, some happy and some sad, but the road is finally nearing its end. Many fans are expecting Naughty Dog's new title to be one of the greatest games of the year, if not the current console generation. Gamebyte was lucky enough to do a hands-on review, and we're going to chat a bit about the plot, the gameplay, the combat, and the controversy, but first... We've tried to keep this review as spoiler-free as possible, so don't worry, you don't need to scroll on. Okay, here we go. The Last of Us 2 is, without a doubt, Naughty Dog's most ambitious title ever. It takes place five years after the events of the first game, so Ellie and Joel are now older, wiser, and have joined a community of survivors in Jackson. It's so great to see Ellie dealing with the problems a normal 19-year-old would. Okay, I have a very serious question for you. How bad do I smell? One of the most pressing issues we're introduced to is Ellie's attraction to her friend Dina, a young woman who's just recently broken up with one of Ellie's friends. The representation will be a huge thing when it comes to the reception of this game. Along with the LGBTQ plus representation, Dina has Jewish and Mexican roots and is nothing short of ferocious, and Ellie never feels like she's holding back. It's rare to find such ruthless female protagonists, but it's refreshing to see. Every guy in this room is staring at you right now. Maybe they're staring at you. All is relatively peaceful, until something happens that will no doubt be divisive. But it was also no doubt a bold move from Naughty Dog. Ellie is sent spiraling, leaving the safety of Jackson in pursuit of what some call justice and others call revenge. By the time the plot really unfolds, she's a coiled spring ready to attack, fueled by nothing but her own personal rage. The Last of Us Part 2's gradual descent into the true horror of human emotion and deep-seated rage leads to some uncomfortable moments that will be heartbreaking for fans who've been with these characters since the first game launched in 2013. It's this discomfort in which lies the true heart of The Last of Us Part 2. It's a game that forces us into the darkest recesses of love, hate, brutality, and despair. God, you have water. <gasps> Wondered whether you were in Seattle. The first game was praised for its simple and emotional storytelling, and Part 2 was always going to have some big shoes to fill. Its plot sadly isn't perfect, with its many jumps in time doing less to explain the story than it is confusing it. The fourth wall breaking capacity and the breakdown of linear narrative adds to the discomfort of playing through the game, but it's definitely off-putting at points. Another thing that we've noticed is the fact that there's a very misleading moment within the game. For the millions of fans who have been following its progress for the last few months, or rather the past few years, it might feel like a bit of a slap in the face. Gamebyte chatted to Troy Baker, Joel's voice actor, back in 2019, who said that everything we've seen from part 2 up to that point had been carefully curated from trailers to launch, and we get it now. We can only assume this fan disservice has been included so as to anger the players and push them into experiencing some of the emotions felt by Ellie, and let us tell you, it worked. One of the less divisive parts of the game is its combat and its gameplay mechanics. They are flawless. Naughty Dog has taken the foundations of combat laid out in the first game and built them up into an absolute powerhouse that is smooth, satisfying and brutal. If you thought the stealth mechanics in the first game were a little bit lacking, part 2 has really amped up the intensity in a way that's impossible to miss. Think this guy's connected to the girl from the school? Melee and gun combat have both had a substantial upgrade from the previous Naughty Dog games. Melee is profoundly satisfying, with an incredible amount of gore, accompanied by a deep and audible thwack that makes kills feel incredibly personal and uncomfortable, so kudos, I, we guess? Quiet! <laughs> The graphics and style of The Last of Us Part 2 are absolutely stunning. Everything from the environment you explore to the clothes on your back have been meticulously crafted with the utmost amount of detail possible. 
It's the perfect showcase of Naughty Dog's new game engine, which makes everything from the sky to the sea team with a level of realism that's rarely seen. Everything about this game is flat out gorgeous, accented with shading and lighting that puts other games to shame. Moving between cinematics and gameplay is so streamlined. There were one or two occasions we hadn't even realised the cutscene was over and we were supposed to be playing. It still retains the same core feelings of the first game, but it places you into a world that is as beautiful as it is bleak. One huge thing we want to mention quickly is its accessibility options. You can tailor your experience to your needs. Want to assign different subtitle colours to different characters? Want to have audio description on? Square button. Scan for enemies. Want to tweak your surround sound settings? Yeah, you can do all of that and loads more. All in all, The Last of Us Part 2 is an unbelievably entertaining game to play. And despite its flaws, it deserves its inevitable position as one of the greatest and last AAA experiences of the PlayStation 4. The pacing of the story is the only thing stopping us from giving it full marks, but overall, The Last of Us Part 2 is an inspiring, gut-wrenching and vicious descent into the lives of characters we know and love. What Naughty Dog has crafted here is less of a game, and more of an experience, both in terms of what you'll see on the screen and what you'll feel whilst on the journey. It'll have you questioning your morals, forcing you to address the uncomfortable realities of love, regret and rage on an unrelenting descent into madness. Whether you love or hate The Last of Us Part 2, it's guaranteed to be a game that keeps people talking for years to come.